What's going on all my lawn care ninjas? Oh my gosh, that's been so long since I've said that. I've almost forgotten how to say it. What's up, Bam Bam? What's up? How's it going? It's a going. It's a going. We have a lot to cover, and I don't yes. think we're going to be able to squeeze all that in this video. No, definitely. As a lot of you ninjas know, have not made a video in a long time. Why is that, Bambito? Uh, slammed. Slammed? Completely busy. Slam dunk? Slam. I don't know about slam dunk, but we've been slammed. Bam Bam's getting slammed. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, we just got Tiny back to, uh, you know, hook it back to the trailer and uh, going to go ahead and get ready to, uh, that sun is bright, uh, to use it. So real quickly, before we get to the uh, what I want to show the ninjas today, what happened to Tiny? Should we start from the beginning or should we just go straight to the, well, to just, the course? Well, I mean, yeah, just, we can't cover everything in this video. Yeah. I've had to step away from videos again for a while. This year has really just strictly been focusing on the business ninjas. And, uh, I mean, Bam Bam can vouch for himself. Yeah, it's, it's so many changes, so many new accounts, yeah. so many uh, things have happened this year. It's yeah. been phenomenal yeah. uh, and very stressful and hectic and time consuming yes that's ultimately that's what it is time consuming yes so um now that things are slowing down with schedule we are still going non-stop of course but uh things have cooled off a bit and grass has slowed down so schedule has definitely opened up a little bit yeah just uh give them a brief what happened to tiny yeah, all right so we're gonna skim through some of the smaller stuff yeah just speak up um, so they can hear you so first thing that happened was starter went out that's pretty easy fix nothing mm -hmm. crazy just irritating i mean it's a six-year starter i mean right, exactly. it is what it and is okay shortly after that one of the brake calipers went out okay which again is just more time consuming and stressful than anything mm -hmm. but again six-year-old caliper expected yep it, with tiny sorry to cut you off but with tiny it felt like it was a little bit there for a while like back to back constantly something yes constantly and that's that's never a good thing no um, but keep in mind, six years, practically yeah, some, no some issues, days. except one, um, which ninjas know way back, the ones who've been watching for a while, but that was about, and that had a lot to do with the death system. But yeah. uh, other than that. Yeah, right. Um, but the big thing was the old uh, axle back here. The rear differential. Mm -hmm. What happened to it? It left the chat. It <laughs> yeah, it, it said, I don't want to work anymore. I'm done. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm clocking out. I'm retiring. <laughs> I'm okay. <done>. So <laughs> the whole rear differential just yeah, completely so shot. The, Started leaking the oil. Started leaking, and of course, you know, again, some of the uh, long-time watchers should, may know it had a clunk. Mm -hmm. We couldn't figure out what the clunk was. Yeah. Dealership didn't know what the clunk was. Mm -hmm. uh, started leaking oil, so we started staying on top of that, trying to figure out, replaced what we thought was the problem. A seal. Which was a, it was a rubber seal, and the seal was bad. Mm -hmm. But that ended up not being the case. Right. The, uh, the way a differential works, and this is going to be dumbed down version, is you got two gears mm -hmm. and two spider gears, and mm -hmm. they kind of rotate. One of the spider gears walked up the carrier, which is one of the other sets of gears that are sitting like this. Mm -hmm. So it walked up, which was that clunk that we kept hearing when we put it in reverse. Mm -hmm. Well, while it was walking up the carrier, it uh, ate some of the teeth off and... Uh, Broke everything. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it just... Bottom line no is, teeth, no Tiny was pretty much stranded at that point. I had him under the carport. <laughs> Luckily, I was home when this all went down. We were able to safely, that last day we used it, we were able to safely get back to the to the house. And at that point, we made a decision, you know what? This is not going anywhere. Yeah, this is it. But one good thing, which was perfect timing, was what? Biggie. So perfect. I mean, if I even tried. That, I couldn't have done it in a minute. Yes. So that, that just complete accident. That was not something. I never saw the rear differential going out. I never saw that coming or anything where I was like, I need another truck. No, it's just the timing was right for me to get another truck. And I'm thankful for that. Yes. And, I, and I'm glad that, you know, business is doing good. I was able to. And then this just happened. So we ended up using Biggie, by the way. Um, I did introduce it. My very last video about a month or two ago was with Biggie. And uh, we were just, we've been using that truck uh, ever since until we fixed Tiny. Finally, Tiny got fixed, but then we haven't had time to do what? Switch everything back. Switch everything back to Tiny. This is how busy we were. Just no time until but, just now. Part of it, too, what took so long with Tiny was it took them about a month. To because get all of the parts. parts, right. Well, they had ordered parts and then they got lost somehow. Mm -hmm. Lost somehow. Yep. And we had to reorder everything. Yep. So. so, anyway, so that's why. And then we ended up just using Big E and then. 
When Tiny did finally get fixed, everything, we've just no time to switch everything over till just actually today. That's why it is a Sunday. It is a yes. surprising Sunday because... Yeah, we, uh, we weren't really fixing this one. We had no. a sneaky Saturday too. Yes, we did. So this was kind of a Monday through Sunday ordeal. But we didn't work today as far as any yards or anything. Just switching stuff over, kind of the whole ordeal. Um, so anyway, that's that. Let's walk over here to Biggie. There is something I do want to show the ninjas um, that I want to make the highlight of the video today. Um, and I have had quite a few things that did come in a while ago, and I apologize not being able to get back to the videos a lot sooner um, because there's a lot of cool things that I have received that I really want to make a video about, do a review, my thoughts on it and stuff. But again, it's just been a really crazy season. So, but I want to start back on the videos and of course start with uh, one of the first things that came in um, and show the ninjas. So a lot of you ninjas know I have worked with um, a different brand on this stuff. I'm trying to say it not to expose it yeah. <laughs> until you open the box of what it is, but, and um, did pretty well. I used it for a while and uh, I have not used it since it shut off. And I think one of my wires around the perimeter got cut off or something. And then I just never had the time to really fix it. So uh, this company reached out to me, said, hey, we'd love to send you one. If you don't mind checking it out, give us your feedback. They want my actual feedback on this. And of course, I want to show it to you ninjas as well. Um, so let's open it. Let's see what it is so we can get into it. So this is a, what is it, Bim Bim? I believe it is a robot mower. Robotic mower. Yep. So as a lot of you ninjas know in the, back, in the past, I have used the Husqvarna one. Um, still have it actually, like I said, uh, Hey, who's that over there climbing? What's up? <laughs> and um, like I said, one of my perimeter wires probably got cut off or something with uh, some landscaping that was done and I've never really reconnected it again. So uh, this is more of an introduction video. So once this gets installed and once we uh, get this going, um, which bear with me on that. Of course, I have to figure out as far as um, installation goes and get everything set up. But this is more of an introduction video and um, kind of just to show you. But uh, this is a robotic mower, just like the one that I had from Husqvarna. This is by... I think it says Sunseeker. Sunseeker. Yep, Sunseeker. No. All right, so uh, if you don't mind, if you don't mind, can you, can you get off that? I don't want you to fall. All right, push this back and take it out of the box. Is that how heavy is it, first of all, Bayman? Uh, if I had to wager, maybe five pounds. Okay, so it's not too it's bad. It's not heavy. Not, not by a long shot. Um, it is not already open. Oh, yes, it is. It is open. Okay. So, big shout out to uh, Sun. Seeker, right? Is that the yep. brand? Yep, Sunseeker for sending this out to me. It's, yeah, it's, it's freaking got lights? No. No, it's got. Oh, that's the camera's ordeal. Yep, I was about to say, freaking oh, lights. Oh, I did too. I was like, wait, wait a minute. This might be a light, though. Ah, I don't know. It looks like it. I don't know. And that is probably where you charge it. Yep, that yep. is the charging dock. So, uh, Sunseeker is a, a company that obviously <laughs> makes robotic mowers. As I mentioned earlier, you guys have seen me use the Husqvarna one. Yep. That is where you adjust your height. Yep. Okay. And this is where you have to, if you have to stop it, okay, like, an emergency stop. like an emergency stop. And this is where you actually have to program it and set up uh, your... Um, not pre-charged. No, no, it's not. We, we would have to pre-charge it. But uh, yeah, let's flip it over, take a look at it. So here are the blades, believe it or not. They are super small blades and there is three of them. And these suckers are very sharp. Yeah, razor blades. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, look at that. So what do you think about robotic mowers in general, Bam Bam? What's your opinion on it? I am very much on the fence because I've heard a lot of good things. Okay. But I have also heard a lot of bad things. Okay. A lot of people don't like them, so I'm still kind of on the fence. I have not personally used one. Right. So and I, I didn't not, know you when I used the Husqvarna so one. I do not have enough knowledge on them to know to form my own opinion i'm just going off of what i know from other people okay and what i have witnessed because i've seen i have seen some people in my own neighborhood use it. now would you think robotic mowers generally speaking doesn't really matter of the brand are, are more of a commercial or residential ordeal 
I have only ever seen them on residentials. Okay. So that is where I am leaning towards. They are more of a residential thing. Okay. Do you think commercial would even be an option thing for commercial properties? Possibly. Okay. Depending on the size, of course. Mm -hmm. um, but if it is one of the larger ones, I would say your best bet would probably to have multiple of these because... Okay. I have, like I said, I Depends how big the property is yes, and what the... And I don't know what the runtime on these things are. I don't know what the battery life's like. I don't know how long they can run, how many acres they can handle. Sure. So that all kind of goes into effect. But I would say... If Residential. Yeah. Residential mostly. Um, and, and obviously, we maintain a lot of residential uh, yes. properties. So one of the options that somebody uh, mentioned to me was, and this was a while ago, is if I... Got a bunch of these, made it as an option to install it for clients uh, in their backyard, front yards, whatever, uh, and then charge a monthly service fee for running it, of course, uh, or maintaining it. If, uh, for example, it gets stuck or something, um, it, blades need to be replaced, right. our service fee would be to come out and service it and take care of it and get it back in action. Um, but... And then uh, we would just have to show up, for example, every two weeks, maybe once a month, just for the trimming and blowing everything off. One great thing I can say about these ninjas in general, robotic mowers, is when I did use the Husqvarna one in my backyard, I never really had to worry about tall grass because it stayed running constantly. It knows when the battery is low, it'll go back to its port right there and it'll fill up and charge. And then when it's fully charged, it'll just go back and run again now how does it know where it's going so there's a couple of sticks that came with them you have to program it it'll outline your whole front yard backyard the whole ordeal and uh and then it just it's never going to relieve that perimeter right but um another thing one of the biggest concerns for me on these things was what if you have it in the front yard and someone wants to pick it up and snatch it and run with it not really a lot that's Stopping them. Yeah, there is. So <laughs> a lot of people don't know. So one of the things that uh, once you pick it up and it leaves close to its port, it leaves that area. Uh, first of all, it'll shut down completely. Uh, it'll shut off. There's a specific code that you need to type in. Uh, so whoever was to, let's say, snatch it, they couldn't use it. All right. It'd be worthless. That's number one. Number two, once it's picked up <clears throat> while it's running and it's, it starts leaving that area, it has a huge alarm sound that comes on. Like a car alarm. Like a call, car, yeah, car alarm, correct. <laughs> <laughs> and so that'll alert uh, whether if you're home or your neighbors or somebody that, hey, you know, something's going on. And I mean, it is a very loud alarm. Um, and so I do know that at least on the previous one that I've had, which is the Husqvarna, I know that was the case, which my guess would be it would be the same with Sunseeker here. Um, so anyway, this is the kind of, I wanted to start with the videos back. I've taken a break from videos, um, a lot going on, personal and in life and in business. And um, I wanted to get back on the videos. And of course, since this was one of the things I've had for a while, Yes. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and just kind of show it to you ninjas. I will have a link in the description to this. So if you guys, you can pick it up on Amazon. Um, if you want to check it out, there um, there's a lot of good reviews about them that I've seen. Um, it is a fairly, I guess, new company or a brand, at least to me it is. Uh, I have not, I, yeah, I've not heard it before. But um, anyway, check it out. There's a link in the description. And uh, I just wanted to basically get back on the videos and introduce one of the products that did come in. So other than that, man, are you excited that we're back on the videos? Yeah, we got definitely a lot that we can cover and a lot of stuff we can show them. Yes, there's a lot of things that have happened, lots of updates, lots of things we can show them that have come in. A and properties that we can A lot of new properties, on. yes. So there's a lot of stuff going on, Ninjas. So just uh, bear with me. Hopefully this fall will be where we kind of get back into it. But uh, we'll see. Anyway, good, big shout out again to Sunseeker. I cannot, this is more of an introduction video. So uh, I cannot wait till um, anything else that comes with it or is it just that oh, port right there? Well. The charger for the thing, the plug-ins right here, uh -huh. I have not uh -huh. got a clue. And you got extra blades. blades that come with it, so that's um, great. You have a knife? Yes, I do. Okay. Never leave home without one. Yeah, me neither. So that's that. Oh, hello there. What are you? So that is the actual line that goes underground uh -huh. so and how you program it the and stakes. these stakes hold okay. it. Yes, I'm glad you opened that so we can show it. Yeah. It's in there pretty good. Oh, yeah. And there should be plenty of it. I don't know if it says it on there exactly how long or not. 250 meters. So that's that's a decent amount, man. I mean, that, that'll cover my whole backyard. Somebody can convert 
in America. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Somewhere. Yeah. I don't understand yeah. the message. Perfect. So you basically dig around um, your property, your perimeter. Um, if you have like a playground or anything or a trampoline in the back, you dig all the way around. You close it all the way underground around that, whatever it is, like I said, playground or uh, any uh, obstacle. Any obstacle. Um, and then that way, when this, this thing is running, it's not going to run into that. The, those are kind of like the borders where it's going to stay. That's where these little sensors come in. Yes. So I'm glad you opened that. And in here is just the charger, you yeah. said, right? Okay. Yeah, where it plugs in. So uh, in order to install this underground, we would need to rent a what? Ditch switch. A ditch switch. So that way you can run your perimeter and then uh, connect it. And then, of course, the cable here is you would have to connect it to your regular uh, outlet you know as far as the charging port so all right that's basically what i wanted to introduce like i said just an opening video introduction stay tuned when me and bam bam get some more time this winter hopefully we will uh, go ahead and uh, put this bad boy to the test and get it installed and uh then so i'll have a second video on this is what i'm trying to say uh and then we'll uh show how it works and what it does all right, anything else, Bam Bam? Is that it for now? I think that's everything for now. Okay. There's a couple other products that came in, so bear with me. Stay tuned. Um, definitely excited to show you on that. And then... Uh, um, yes, I, I suffer from short people syndrome. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I just lift stuff. Make fun of me all you want. I all right. <laughs> I'm just waiting for him to pack all this up. You okay? No. No? <laughs> my ego hurts. Your ego hurts. Okay. All right. Now they can laugh at my expense. Oh, yeah. I'll out this once. Oh, they, there's a lot of them that do laugh on your expense oh, a lot. I know. <laughs> there's a special place for them. Oh. <laughs> anyway, ninjas, uh, I will have the link down in the description to this. So, like I said, if you want to check it out for yourself. Um, but, like I said, I'll, again, one last time, I'll, this is more of an introduction. I'll have another video on this once uh, me and you find some time to get this yeah. installed. And Key word there, find the time. time. Yes, it's been really crazy and hectic. But anyway, again, big shout out to Sun Seeker. Uh, appreciate them sending this out. This It means a lot to me, and uh, I've been meaning to do this video for a while. So I look forward to checking it out and uh, showing it to you ninjas and then go from there. But anyway, all right, we got to go. Bam, bam. Did you Have you missed the videos? There for a while, Bam Bam's been like, Benick, Benick. I'm like, don't give me that, Benick. He's like, oh, yeah, please, the video. We gotta it's, make the videos. It's more of the reminding that, oh, hey, you know, we haven't done this in a yeah. while. And then we just get, get busy, and I'm like, screw it. Yeah. Let's just yeah. get this. And now I'm like, hey, you wanna finally go uh, and um, start on a video and, and let's do the introduction on this and just kind of say hi to the ninjas? It's been a minute. And what was his first words? Oh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> So, kind of like it went from, hey, when's it? come on, man, let's make some videos to really, do we really have to? Well, <laughs> like, so I still got laundry to do and everything else to get ready for next week. So too much info. <laughs> I'll give you some info. All right, ninjas. <laughs> hope all of you seriously have been well. Hope everyone's doing good. Hope everyone's season has gone uh, well this season. Uh, we are obviously entering into fall. Just wait. We are entering into fall fall into uh winter uh coming around but now grass is slowing down for us and yes. we are basically doing what leaves leaves leaves, um, and, aeration. leaves and aeration so uh and then that's gonna pretty much get us through the year and then uh pretty much at that point winter's here and then we gotta get ready for spring yep, yep. It's a cycle cycle round and round we go seems, seems like it was just last year we were doing leaf cleanups and stuff you know crazy how time flies i know it seems like it was yesterday. It's always fast when you're having fun. Yes. <laughs> yes, we definitely have our fair share of fun. All right, ninjas. Take care. Appreciate it. Want to say hi, little ninja? Hey, want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> my boy. All right. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Peace.